Hello and welcome to Dale's Titanic Dinner. We're going to have today Titanic Boats. Now, this is how we're going to do it today. We're going to show you how to make these boats and how to make delicious and fantastic meals for your kids and all your family. So let's just see by step by step the El Paso Stuff and Stand boats. Firstly, you need this. El Paso Stuff and What's it called? Stand and Stuff. Whoa, look at that. Obviously get them out of the pack. That's the first step. And I'll show you that in one sec. So as you can see, we have a boat right here. This is what we're going to stuff. Fantastic meal, trust me. If, you, if you've seen my other, my other recipes, this is right up there with the best. Let's see how we go. Start as you get your boat. Now, always get some lettuce. Lettuce always goes first. I'll show you a reason why. Get your lettuce. Cut it through the stem here. The best way, because it fits the actual boat fantastically. And I'll show you. Got the lettuce. You got the boat. Watch this. Might, but you got to make sure you have to clean the lettuce leaf. Please wash it underneath the tap first. Now you have the lettuce leaf, and that in there perfectly. Next, and also while you do it, is you always make sure your hands are clean when you're cooking. Now, you've got to get the good stuff: the barbecue chicken. It's a taste. It's twenty-two dollars a kilo. Coles, you'll love it. Trust me, it's got a reddish colour to it and it is absolutely fantastic. Now, as you can see, it has a beautiful little red tinge to it, as you can see. Now, you fill roughly half the actual boat with this, okay? So, let's just, let's just do that. We're just going to get some of this chicken stuff. Absolutely fantastic. It looks gorgeous already. Look at that. Look at that. As you can see, you've got a bit of the chicken in there. It looks awesome. Right. What I've already done here, I've pre-cut some tomato. But what you need to do is cut it in about quarters. And that's awesome. I'll show you that the reason why there. So let me just cut that. So you got it. So you got roughly in quarters. Oh, it's looking delightful already, guys. This is just awesome. So you got the tomato there. Now, this is where it gets technical. You got to have the shallots. Now I cut shallots a hell of a lot differently than anyone else. You've got to use a good pair of kitchen scissors. Now, I'm just I always cut about, oh, lucky, probably maybe 10 centimeters out of that. Now, we just cut, see, we're just cutting it, cutting it into the actual boat. Looking absolutely beautiful. My apprentice here, can you see my apprentice in the background? <laughs> Say hello, my prince. <laughs> hello. Hello. What are we, these are fantastic boats. Yummy. Yum bows, hey? When are we Time having for dinner? The, dinner will be shortly, sweetheart. <laughs> awesome. So we've got the shallots in. You don't want to overfill it because if you overfill it, it just looks absolute shit. And yuck. But if you make it look gorgeous, oh, God, it's sensational. Now this is what it looks like so far. You got you got some shallots in there. You got some tomato. You got some you know you can throw a little bit of extra little things in there. In. So what we've got next, we are going to show you how to do. We're going to put some cheap grated cheese in it first. The grated cheese is the awesome part. Can I do it? 
Not yet, not yet. I'll do all the... So, always shredded tasty cheese, and it's always the home brand cheese. Don't get anything else dear up, because seriously, it's not worth the money. Not good enough. So let's just put the cheese in. Now, if you really want to get really exotic and you want it hot, you can heat them up, but trust me, cool, they're nice. So this is what it looks like at the moment. Nearly finished, just about finished. Now, this is where all the secret herbs and spices and all the beautiful dessert -y avocado goes on top of it and a little bit of maybe, uh, where is it, the El Paso Smooth Sour Cream Topping. Now, can't be too bad, can't be too bad if they're saying if it's El Paso. Fantastic. And it's really yummy. Really nice. So what is it? What is it, Em? Um, really yummy. Really, really yummy. With the thumbs up. Thumbs up. All right. Right. I've got some avocados. Now, I've got the uh, the Hass avocado. I like the Hass avocado. This is my favorite personal choice. My wife likes the, what's it called? Hass. The Hass. This is the Shepherd, is it? <laughs> Sorry, this is the Shepherd. And that's the Hass. Now, I'm going to show you the, 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 the spicier type of one I'm going to do. Beck doesn't like the spicy one. She just likes having the dip as, as an avocado dip on top of it. But I will show you my version of it. All right. And what mine. we do is, obviously, we cut Inner. down the center. Like that, as so. Like I said to you before, you got to remember to clean your hands at all times. Yes. Can I mix it? See? Beautiful avocado. You cannot get any better. Now, I like to do this. I like to cut strips down here. So, as you can see, they're cut. A lot easier to get out. So what you need is a bowl. Now I've just licked my fingers, so let me just say I'm just gonna clean my hands. Right, we're back. Now you need a you need a little you need a little dish. A kid's a kid's uh, lunch box, like a little sandwich lunch box, fantastic, perfect for it. And you need now, a oh thank you my little my little, uh, my helper, spoon and avocado. Can I do it? We're just gonna push it in. Oh, look at that! <laughs> Straight in. It, it all just clean. There you go. Now you mix it. That's it. Smash that little avo. The avocado. Yep. We'll just get rid. Of, we might. What we do? We might make a. This is looking great. We're doing good, guys. This is really good. I'm hoping I'm keeping your attention span here because I know you guys have been asking for my all my perfect recipes after the last few days. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to start a blog. Someone gave me the great idea of doing that, and you know what, I'm thinking about making, creating a new YouTube channel just for all my special stuff. So what I do is, I squish it up as much as I possibly can. Can I squish it Hang on. We're, we're getting there. Can I do the rest? So we're doing quite well here. We're, so it's, it's nearly pretty squishy. Can I? Show the camera, very squishy. Now, this is what you need. Bit of sweet chili. Sweet chili. I'm just gonna mix it. Or together. if you're really getting really sensitive, you really want to get it really, really nice and top, oh, very, very hot type of stuff. Bit of Portuguese style peri peri. I like to put a little bit of both. Not so much this in. They put a little bit in. So I will put some little bit in. Bit of bat in. So that's a bit of the Portuguese, peri peri, and a little bit of sweet chili.
Now we mix that in. Now I help it. I might just help my little helper here. I'll just. Let me do it. <laughs> Does doesn't it? It smells absolutely fantastic. Now, this does seriously satisfy a grown man's taste buds very much so. So, it's pretty much mixed. Now, can you give me a plate, my little helper, please? Just a small one. Just, uh, uh, it doesn't matter if it's plastic or not. But you're hungry, hungry. Now, I like to put just a teeny bit of this in. Just a teeny bit. Now, this is a new new bottle, so we're going to see if it's in. Look at that. I get you Yoda. We're going to go for the Yoda plate, are we? Yes. Because you like it, don't you? Fantastic. I'll put it in again. There you go. Thank you, my helper. I'll have a plate, thanks. Thank you. Always got to have a great, a great plate. You know, it's all about presentation. My person has just told me. <laughs> presentation is the best thing. Obviously, that goes on your plate. Now we're going to stick a little bit of avocado. Now it all depends on how much. If you're, if you're a fan of avocado and you love avocado, stick as much as you like on. But some people. I don't like it too, too much of it, but you know, I don't mind a little bit too much. Just a little bit, just to look at there, it looks sensational already. Yummy. Look at that, that is sensational. Now, Ew. a bit of the El Paso on top, like this. Mix it. Can I mix that? That's mixed. Look at that. Oh, yummy. Done. Yummy. Now, this is what you call a boat. A boat. But this is going to be a Titanic boat. So, what happens now? Just a little bit of more, a little bit of cheese. That's all you need. Not too much. Did you put too much? And there you go, guys. That is what you call a Titanic boat. boat. A sensational boat for the whole family. Now, I recommend, if you're a big guy like me, three's enough. Three. Children, depending on the size of your child, one. If you're going to give them two, they probably won't eat it all, but they'll love it. They'll all right. love it, right? Bye! Thank, Thank you for listening and watching my channel. Bye. There's plenty more to come. And I hope you guys enjoy my boat. I shall see Bye. you soon. See yous. Bye. And I let's just say my, my catchphrase. High five, man. <laughs>